This is King Echo, the spiritual leader of Amazonia. The king of mining people. Welcome to the mine of King Echo. The number 15 law in the 48 laws of power states that crush your enemy totally. Show no mercy towards your enemy. When you have your enemy at your forefront and you have the ability, the capability to destroy your enemy, do that completely. Don't give him, don't show him no mercy. Because if you do, you will live to regret it. All great leaders since Moses have known that a feared enemy must be crushed completely. Sometimes they have learned this the hard way. If one amber is left alight, no matter how dimly it smothers, a fire will eventually broke out. More is lost through stopping halfway than through total annihilation. The enemy will recover and will seek revenge, crush him not only in body but in spirit. This is the 15 law of the 48 laws of power, which is exactly what Bia is doing to the Southern Cameroonians. It's, to him, it's all about power. He wants to crush the Southern Cameroonian people in spirit and as well as in body, which is why he goes around or he lets his military burn down 95 year old grandmother, kill children, burn down houses. Why? He wants to demoralize us in spirit and in body the opportunity he took to to have our leaders arrested and brought into so into yaoundé he's doing that or he's trying to do that so that he could crush the spirit of the ambazonian people it's all about power a new military group has been created and they are in uh, Bankam Kupe Maniguba. They actually seized the guns of the DO and had um, their military on line on the ground. But the stupid and foolish thing they did, even though they think that that was pride or whatever, I don't know what was actually going through their mind. But it was actually stupid stupid for them letting the deal and his men walk scot free when you have your enemy in front of you the only thing left is to destroy them completely don't give them no room to come back because letting them go they will go with that shame that disgust and they will want to destroy Saturn Cameroon completely. They, their, their bitterness will grow even more. And the spirit to fight the English Cameroons will actually increase. So when you have your enemy on the ground, lying ground, don't show any mercy. We don't have no room to show any mercy because President Pobia is not showing any mercy to us. So why should we why should we let the deal walk away and his soldiers? Why do that? That is stupid of us. If you are not careful, those who actually let them walk away will pay it in price when they come back and kill them. This is a war. A war that was declared to us by La Republic by President Paul Bear. President Paul Bear is all about power. This is this is this war is about power between two nations. And our winning this war we secure our independence. But if we lose this war, 
we will be destroyed completely because Bia would show no mercy to English Cameroonians. If he has an upper hand, he will show no mercy at all. I don't see why you have the deal of Kupin Manuguba and you actually let him go. Why do that? Why show mercy? Mercy is for the weak, my brothers. You don't even have that opportunity. Our people have been arrested and put in jail, in prison. <sighs> oh, what was I at? Sorry about that. I had an incoming call from somebody. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that we have no time to show any room for mercy. Because President Paul Beer, his soldiers who have actually left from another state in, in East Cameroon, have, they've come to actually what? Start a war, continue a war to kill people, to burn down houses. We don't have the room to do that. We don't. We actually have to create more military. The idea is to have a military group of at least 200 members all over Southern Cameroon. And a total of 200 groups, which will, if you multiply that, that will be about a, it's a group of soldiers of about 40,000 people. If we could have a group, a military group of about 40,000 people made up of 200 members in each group fighting over all over Southern Cameroon and at, a multiple attacks and we don't have to show no mercy when you have the deal, you have complete control over the deal and the military take them out take them out and inform the government of the republic that if they keep sending their military in the land of southern cameroon they'll only receive the heads of their soldiers let the parents of those soldiers feel the pain that we have felt over the years when they see the bodies of their children who have been sent by their leader president paul Beer, to come and what destroy saron Cameroon, to come and kill the spirit of saron Cameroonians. No room for mercy. If you have the soldiers, if you fight when you find the soldiers, show no mercy. Because La Republic would not show us mercy. These people are willing to they're, they're willing to go as far as burning down houses. killing grandmothers and you claim that they are your brothers what kind of a what kind of brother does that to you does your brother kill you rape you all in, what does that accomplish if you think about it what does that really accomplish what are they trying to display they're trying to display their superiority their power over us this is a war between two nations whoever wins this war has control over the other 
And when if Sauron came on or when Sauron came on win this war, what would that mean? That would mean freedom for all Sauron Cameron. That would mean a better future for Sauron Cameron. That would mean hope to be the master of your fate, control your own destiny. This is what we are fighting for. Greetings. How are you doing? So, as I was saying, the Ambazonian Restoration Army has actually made a mistake by letting go of the divisional officer that they arrested in Kupe Manigubur. That was a big mistake. A mistake that might actually bite us in our asses. A mistake that we, we might actually pay for it when they come in and kill our people and some of our soldiers. This is a war. Some people don't seem to understand it. The fear of war is worse than war itself. Being afraid to fight a war, scared to fight a war, is worse than living in fear, in perpetual fear, which is exactly what we have been doing in the past 36 years. We've been living in fear because of President Paul Bia, because of the of French Cameroon, because of France. France is the problem that we must actually find a solution to. France is the problem, not just to Ambazonia, but to a problem to 14 nations in Africa. I can't believe a small country like France compared to 14 nations of Africa. And the 14 nations in Africa are subservient. They are slaves to France. And the people can rise against France. Why? Is it because they are white? Are we so afraid of white people? That we cannot make bold statements and stand up for what is right? Are we so afraid of Franks that all the Western world that we can't fight, speak up for what is right? And then again, when you look at the African Union and the new elected chairman of African Union, you can understand why Africa is weak and why the French Cameroon, the French African nations cannot stand against France because they are afraid, because they are being controlled by white superiority. They believe, they think that whites are superior to them, but they're not. French man is not superior to any African. But what, what must we do to change that? Organize. We must organize. We must strategize. We must get the other 14 nations, French nations in Africa, to be involved in this issue so that we can actually secure our independence. Saddam Kamran must be free. And we cannot let fear control us. Fear is a poison. Fear is so lethal. But the spirit of Ambazonia is rising. The people are rising because the people have recognized that the only way forward to actually free ourselves from this perpetual slavery is through military. Having as many military groups as possible within our tribes in Southern Cameroon, fighting the enemy, French Cameroonians. That is the only way forward. That's the only way forward to secure the freedom 
of our leaders over in Nigeria. That's the only way forward. But we need a radical revolutionaries. And that's where Cho Ayaba comes in. That is the revolutionary leader that we need with his defense forces, with ADF and all the military groups on the ground. Many Arab nations have decided to become terrorists. Why? Because of freedom. President Paul Bia called us terrorists. Why? Because he wants to control us. He wants to inflict fear on us, make us, turn us into children so that he can control us. But Amazonia is rising. And Amazonia would rise. We must crush our enemy in complete totality. Show no mercy because they show no mercy to our citizens. They show no mercy. They show no mercy to our people. They show absolutely no mercy to our people and we shouldn't. We must keep the pressure on the military of La Republic. They take out when they take one of our soldiers out, we must take two or three or three or four. Just keep adding. That is the only way forward. Freedom doesn't come, it doesn't come with the, without a price. You can't free yourself if you're not brave. If you can't free yourself without courage. And you you might be afraid. But don't let fear control you. Even when you are afraid, there's still courage within you as a citizen of Amazonia. The spirit lives within us. We are masters of ourselves. We are in control of what we do, what we think, and what we want in our lives as a people. Everybody, every citizen that is fighting in Southern Cameroon has a dream. They're not just fighting because they're being told to fight. They're fighting because they want their dreams to be realized. They want their goals to be realized. They want their goals to be accomplished. But if we let fear control us, if we think we cannot do something if we think we cannot fight this war if we think that oh we cannot dream of the impossible or the the dreams that we want to accomplish seem impossible if we think that then we will never accomplish it but so long as we think that we can do it so long as we think that we can defeat the republic of cameroon and have a state of our own it is possible. It's a, it's a fight worth fighting for. It's a dream worth fighting for. A, a state for the people, by the people. A country of our own. Ayabacho is the revolutionary leader that we need. And he needs to keep keep us invo involved. He needs to speak to the people more often. So that his ideas, his ideas can be, his ideas and dreams can be accomplished. 
this war, this war we're fighting is not a war just for a leader. It's not a war just for one person. It's not a war just for the interim government. It's not just a war for of for Ayaba Ayabacho. It's a war for all Southern Cameroonians. For all Southern Cameroonians. And we need bold people. We need people who can think boldly and act boldly. Not people who are running behind international communities. Pleading, begging, asking for opportunity. If we keep asking the opportunity, instead of taking our opportunity. You know, when the interim government was created, one of the very first things I said was for the interim government to actually demand a war to actually, after... Um, after um you know after our independence after reclaiming our independence or our, our october 1st as the day of our independence of for southern cameroon they should have taken that opportunity you could go ahead ask the questions you could go ahead and ask the question and um i'll respond to them but as I was saying, after declaring our independence, we should have declared a war on Southern, on French Cameroonians, on La Republic. But they didn't. That pissed me off. But the, the good thing out of it was the fact that it was President Paul Bia who decided to declare the war on us. Which means that whether we like it or not, we have no other options. Um, there is this Amazonian um, network that I actually follow through. And that's where I saw it from. He speaks so often, the AB, AB Amazonian network. The one that I gave you is actually the right one. The other one that the person gave wasn't going through. But he comes on online often. Every every day, at least like two or three times online on Facebook. And um, you could actually talk to him live and ask him questions. But that's where I got the, the information for the Chang Shus, the website. What if I create a website and sneak in on those people's site? Are you good at creating are you good at creating website or at least good at creating website that you can sneak in other website? I'm not sure about that. If you can do that, go ahead. I'm not hey. Whatever works works. If you wanna use cyber um break into cyber security of the Republic or whatever, you go ahead and do that. I mean a thief. Some people do that. But what is the need for doing that? I mean, I don't, I don't see the reason why any person would want to do that. True, it could be possible. That's why I said you could talk to the guy online. When he on, you could talk to him online. I I watch his video and I, there are people calling, ask questions. He actually put that website. You know, people can do that, but I don't know what to say about that. 
Okay, I will do that. I'll I'll get the number and give it to you. I'll get his number and give it to you. And then you could talk to him live. But as I was saying, we can't let fear control us. And the Sauron Cameroon struggle is not just for the leaders, but for every Sauron Cameroonians. For every Sauron Cameroonians. So whatever we can do to contribute, we do that. What ideas are also great. Organizing um, different groups, different funds, even creating your own um, military group with members fighting on the ground, helping to fund those, those military groups are great ideas that we need to apply. Because we must free Southern Cameroon, nobody else. The United States that I'm in, they fought against their, fought for their independence and won it against Britain. Why can't we do that? You know, why can't we be brave enough to fight for our own freedom? Is the Republic so gigantic, so powerful that we cannot defeat? No, they're not. Look at what the few military groups on the ground are doing. Just a couple of groups. Some of them are actually seizing the, 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 milit the military arms from the Republic. That, what does that tell? They're not, even though they are trained, they're not good enough as soldiers. We can defeat them. The poss that possibility is there. We can defeat La Republic with what we know and what we have. I'll get the number and give it to you. I have to um, watch him online and then I'll get the number. But um, he comes on online often. So I'll when I get a number, I'll, I'll leave it up and you could um, contact him and you could actually see him online. He comes almost twice or three times a day. He's a spokesman for ADF, Amazonian Defense Forces. I think I'm going to end this here for now. But um, as I was saying, <laughs> yeah, Look, people are really afraid of war. You know, they're really afraid of war. But if you notice, the na the bigger nations survive fighting wars. United States survive fighting wars, and that's how they make themselves rich. War actually is a big business if you know how to, you know, exploit it. It's a huge business, a huge money-making business. But the only thing is that many people die in the process. But we're not fighting this war because of money. That's the difference. We are fighting this war because we want freedom. We want independence. So we have to fund the war to see our independence. We have to fund the war to see our freedom. And our soldiers must be brave and not make callous mistakes like allowing the, the deal These are superstitions. Some people have great magical powers. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They are scared of the military. Many of the citizens are so afraid of the military to the point that they will actually run and even they will actually speak against us who are fighting or us who are speaking for Sauron Cameroonians. They will actually speak against us. They are afraid of the light public so much that, you know, it's out of hand. But 
we don't the thing is we don't need a really big group of military or a big group of people behind just people who believe and who are willing to take the risks you know people are willing to take the risk that's who we 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 need Yeah, that's another tactic, but I don't think it will work because we actually need people with strong mind, not people with feeble minds who are so scared, so afraid to do anything. Fear, fear is like the biggest thing in this war. People are are so afraid of the government because. Well, B has been there for what thirty five years. All his tactics has always involved fear. All the tactics that he uses fear. Even the one he he's doing right now is still fear by killing, um, by sending military to ki to kill grandmothers or children or even um, unarmed citizens, and then burning down the the buildings is to perpetrate fear. It has been debunked because many people believe that they can actually win this war. And which is the spirit that we need, the, the ability to to believe that we can win this war, we can fight this war and actually win it. And from there that momentum we build. And if the reason one I the reason why fear has been debunked is because our leaders were arrested. So it got to the point where, you know what? If they're willing to go as far as that, we could, we could try other things as well. You know, why should we be afraid of them? I mean, there is no reason to be afraid. There's no point for us to be afraid of La Republic and their military. As a matter of fact, they are, they, are, they are getting tired of this because they don't know what to do. Fake restaurant trick. And but you know, war is a trick. War is about trick. You know, you have to be able to to um outsmart your 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 enemy you must be able to outsmart your enemy and um one thing where whenever we attack a group of southern communes We need we need more stubborn people to do what is what um, people are afraid to do. You know, and um, for me, I'm I'm a very stubborn person. My, my 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 mother knows that. My sisters, they all know that I'm very stubborn. And I'm a Capricorn, so it's just in me. What is there to fear? And they were they were afraid. Hmm. Hey, whatever works, we gotta use. Whatever method works, we have to use it. Because it's all about power. For Bia, he wants to to control to the point where if he has to kill everybody in Southern Cameroon just to be in power, he will do it. But the the fact is, this, this man is dying. Probably as a dying man. He, his days are abnormal. That can be a scary thing because he can he's willing to do whatever. But then again, we should not be afraid just because he wants to do whatever he takes. 
This is the point. This is the more reason for us to rise up as Southern Cameroonians. The more reason to keep fighting, the more reason to keep killing. We all just have to keep killing as many military. Uh, they, look, that the sons can hate us. I don't give a damn about the sons of um, Paul Bia because those people are actually fools. His sons are all his sons are fools. Not to talk about his daughters. This the daughters the, and the sons. They've been waste. The, the the son has been wasting so much timber in 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 southern Cameroon, cutting and selling it. The, the, the timber in southern Cameroon is owned by us southern Cameroonians. And I um, actually saw how they burned down a truck of timber, which is good. More trucks like that need to be burned down so that nobody should dare go into the forest of Southern Cameroon to cut timber for, for Bia and his son. He's getting money. He's getting rich. They ain't doing nothing. They're getting rich. And the, thing, the stupid thing is French Cameroon soldiers were actually fighting for La Republique. They get nothing out of this. They don't. They don't get anything at all. The people who are getting rich do nothing. Meanwhile, they are there dying. Why? Because President Paul Bia has decided to send them over. They are they are the fools. So if they keep coming into our own and uh, into our land, into Southern Cameroon territory, we need to send them back in body bags. That's all. They need, they need to be bold to face their, late, their leader. They need to be bold to face President Paul Bia and his sons and the daughters and the wife because they are en they're enri enriching themselves. This, this stupid and blind patriotism. Like, I, you can't just keep following a leader just because he's a leader. This is one thing about me. I don't follow somebody just because it's a leader. I question the person I'm following. Like, if he does his reason and his, his ability to, to lead doesn't correspond to the way I think I don't need to follow the leader. A leader he, the, he's a leader, but he's not my leader. You know? Even President Trump is a, the president of the country, but hey, whatever he does, he does. He doesn't really, that doesn't concern me. At the end of it, four years or eight years, he'll be out. Somebody else is over. But if you look at the African leaders, when they get to presidency, they just want to stay in power, keep killing people, keep the money for themselves, and then you got the foolish uh, soldiers. The people that actually benefit are just generals who are up there. The foot soldiers, they benefit nothing. Most of them are who are being killed in the process, you know. So, why fight for a country that doesn't even have your own interest? You, as a, as a citizen of um, La Republic Cameroon, most of those soldiers cannot even run as presidents, or they can't even run for a position in the government. Exactly. They keep the money for themselves. And um, you can't even have a good hospital in, in, in Cameroon. Bia was, uh, took, uh, took a plane and flew to uh, Sweden for, check, for medical checkup. 35 years he's been in, as president. What good hospital does he have in Cameroon? None. The same with Nigeria. When the Nigerian president was sick, where did he go? He went back to London. It's an African culture. A stupid African culture that needs to be debunked. We need to, we need to change it completely. The future leaders of Africa need to, to fix this issue. We need to question this problem. Because the problem is getting out of hand. You can't have a continent as big as Africa. In, in, in the perspective countries, they don't even have a good hospital to even treat a president. The president has to run out. You know, it's crazy.
Exactly. It is a war. We are fighting a war with um, La Republic. It's a war. A war between two countries. A war between two countries. And um, the only thing is to send, uh, send their military back in body bags. The more they keep dying, the, the mothers and their sisters and brothers and family who, who love and miss them will have to question their leader. Question Pobia. I, as a matter of fact, yeah, that is true. One of the reasons is that the internet was cut off. And um, if you've re as if, if you've recognized what um, the communication in Cameroon does is that, or the the news channel in Cameroon does is that they they, they do whatever favors the government. They don't tell the truth. Equal strategy to sometimes is they they perpetrating as well. A different TV. I don't think so though. Well, that depends on the leader that is taken over too. Is that if the leader is willing to sit down and iron out the issues. Even, even if Paul Bia lives or dies in the process, the Anglophone issue must be solved. You know, many people want independence for Southern Cameroon. They don't want federation. They don't want decentralization with La Republic, they want independence. So, I mean, they can't just like cover that up and just say, oh, let's just decentralize or do federation. No, no. If they want to do that, we need to continue the fight. It's independent, independence or, or nothing else. Complete independence or nothing else. No, well, sitting down doesn't mean that we have to be in um in Yaoundé. No, it will have to be organized out of you know the country. You have to meet somewhere in, on a mutual ground where everybody you know can sit down and discuss the issues and then make the final decisions. But that, that dialogue must be t that dialogue must take place. But in order for us to have that dialogue, we must make sure that um, Southern Cameroon is secure and free from La Republic. This is the t this is actually the time to to take this opportunity. It's a it's a God given opportunity to fight this war. We must fight this war so that when that time comes, we have an equal foot to have a dialogue. The reason why Bia doesn't want a dialogue or he's not even asking for a dialogue is because he doesn't see us as equals. He sees he used to see us as his subjects or yet more or less his slave. Yeah, we must fight. That's the only option. We must continue the fighting. We must send as many like public soldiers back in, in um, six feet underground. As simple as that. It's not easy, but that's what we must do. Being a military is not easy. It's difficult. But to have a free state, a free country. No, I didn't. I didn't see that. Um, 
if you have it you can send it up or just um, put it up and I'll I'll check it out but um for us to actually secure this uh, the, our independence we must keep fighting till the end we must keep fighting so that we have an equal foot on the on the dialogue table. The Bia doesn't want a dialogue because he doesn't see us as as a free people. He doesn't see us as independent. He doesn't see us as equals. He see us as his servants or uh, the country that he colonized or the country that they colonized. Which is why he just keep he keeps sending his military in and out. But we we must make sure that they may come in, but they might not live in as they came in. We must make sure that they go in. You know, go back in in body bags, and then let their their parents, uncles, and sisters feel the pain, the wrath, the anger, the frustration that we have felt for so long, for fifty to six years. The the pain they have given us, the agony. I mean, you your parent will get up in the morning. Is thinking of how are we going to survive. Meanwhile, we have so much resources in Southern Cameroon. Why should they take their advantage? Or is it because the colonizers or the recolonizers? No, nah, man. Freedom is not free. We must be brave. We must make sacrifices. Oh, very rich. Southern Cameroon is rich. After independence, after complete independence from La Republic, Southern Cameroon citizens would not suffer. Would not. And the thing is, we have to keep the spirit, making sure that the leaders that will rule the country would not take this as an advantage for himself or herself and they, should, they will have a term or two after that they get out if they're not doing what they are doing that is needed decentralization with la republic it's still not going to work. The thing is, decentralization with the Republic decentralization, decentralization with the Republic will not work because France is still going to be sucking Cameroon dry. So whatever is in southern Cameroon will be given to, to, to France and then they will still suffer the slavery because La Republic recolonizing us means France recolonize us. France has control over our territory. But and the only way France will have control of our territory is through La Republic. So us cutting the link with La Republic means we're cutting the link with France. And um, other French nations in Africa must do that too. They must cut the link with like uh, with um, Franks. But it, most of them don't have the courage to do so. They are so scared. They are afraid of war. They, you know, it's it's a bitter truth. But they must face Franks as well as we must face La Republic. And the Republic has to face France if they want to be free. But they if they don't want to be free, that's on them.
that's on them yep Yep. Please share the videos as 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 much as you can. I want many people to see the video so that it could help. You know. To change your mindset about the why am I angry? Is that hmm. yeah? We need to start taking out br br the b when they're going through our land you know there's this thing called what surprise attack exactly they should have a military group that could take out um the soldiers as they're coming through because they have to come through the land they have to come to the the roadside so when we see them coming through that is the best opportunity to actually take them out the best opportunity they will least expect it. War is about surprise. It's about surprise. Surprise attack before you know you've taken down the people and, and keep it moving. We know I told you well enough to do that. I think I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> fake. Oh, I see your point. Creating fake brothers and restaurants will allow them to come in to, to eat. And then you could take them out. But uh, I'm going to end the video here. Till next time, man. I'll see you guys. Thanks a lot. Later.